hey hello everyone welcome back once again and today I'm going to show you guys how you can set up your Lumion live synchronization with SketchUp as some people request me about that they are not able to configure that so I just may I'm just trying to show you how you can do that so first what you need to do is just install the SketchUp version whatever you like and I'm using here this SketchUp 2018 version and the second step is what you need to do is just go to the extensions.sketchup.com here you can find the uh, required plugin okay so we need a Lumion Live Sync <coughs> I'm sorry Okay, we got it it's here and you need a Google account if you have your Gmail ID so you can easily download this or you can make a one so you can configure this very easily <coughs> just click over this Lumion Live Sync for SketchUp and you can download this but you need to sign in over here first so once you click over there this will ask you about your login details so you can sign in with Google okay so click over here and I'm using my account and now you can download the required file okay. continue browsing once you download this file now what you need to do is just run your SketchUp software okay start using SketchUp I place this file over here now go to the <coughs> Windows and extension manager you can do this by over here as well extension warehouse if you already signed in in the SketchUp account so you can do that from this way as well and once you click over the extension manager just go to the install extension and select the file mine is over the desktop look it's here just open this file now it's installed over here and you can see the Lumion live synchronization button over here you don't need to do any other thing just close this and just open any file like I have one over my desktop this file okay so I'm going to open this okay just open this file and just minimize this now run your Lumion first run the process XP Go to the Lumion, run. Go to the Lumion properties, threads. Click over here, suspend the DLLs. Wait for a few seconds. <coughs> Sorry. yeah it's done just okay close and click over here, your Lumion it will take a few seconds Yeah, 
as you can see there's a old file actually I always close this from the task manager so it always show the file like that so I'll just discard that and we need a fresh scene so just make choose this one okay and now we need the same file import and select the same sketchup file which you are using in the sketchup okay so I already have this over here okay, let me import this as a fresh model so import this okay <clears throat> okay done now what you have to do is now you need to check the live synchronization so I'm going to make this smaller so you can easily see the live synchronization actually I have two monitors so I can easily use this option in my desktop okay so this is for the demonstration that's some um, making this just go to the extensions again if this window is not visible just go to the live synchronizer and start live sync click over there okay now look if you <coughs> move your scene in the sketchup you can see it work in the lumion as well if you move your objects in the sketchup so you can see it's <coughs> easily move over here as well if you are able to see that look it's here okay like this one um, look it's working absolutely fine so please try this and and my cracks are absolutely fine with the lumion and they are working actually they are the actual file which is available over the internet I'm not actual creator I am just <coughs> uh, sharing my experience with you guys about about this how you can configure these files okay I hope you can understand the live synchronization as well if you have any problem so please comment me below so please if you like so thumbs up my video and subscribe my channel thank you very much guys